Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video actually wasn't planned. I figured you guys may enjoy it and um, it may be fun to film. I haven't had the chance to kind of play around with it just yet so I want to kind of just show you some little bits of it now. You guys don't even know what I'm talking about yet. Today I got a Nuna capsule. Okay this is the Nuna Click Plus capsule and it's so nice. I got this second hand on Marketplace for a Nuna in this good of condition. I got it for a really good price. I didn't pay what they offered on it. I paid a little bit less. It's in really good condition and I'm happy with the price that I paid for it. I can't tell if it's just a little bit faded in these areas from where it may have hit the sun. I just can't tell or if it's just this lighting. So again, I'll have to put it in the natural light. So originally the photos was without the insert. I messaged and asked if they had the insert and they said they did. So they found it for me. I was lucky because if they didn't have the insert, I wasn't going to get it because for Hudson to fit in here pro properly and probably Hazel as well, we kind of needed the insert. Something I was looking for was obviously the Nuna Click. I wanted the Nuna Click, but something I was looking for on it was definitely the brown on the handle up the top here. But I'm interested to see how light it is once I take it off the base, which I think is kind of what I want to test out a little bit now. And then like I can test it more out in the morning. I will say it is bigger than I expected it to be. I don't know why. Hazel's Maxi Cozy is pretty big compared to Hudson's Steelcraft capsule, which I think is why I think this is so big because the Steelcraft capsule is so small. I don't have the pram yet for it. I'm still looking for the pram that I want on Marketplace. I just can't find one at the moment. I can get the adapters for this capsule for the Strider if I wanted to test it out beforehand. We have a doll show to go to this weekend. It's May. Today's May 22nd or May 23rd. Something along the lines of that. So yeah, we have a doll show on the weekend. So if I can find adapters before then, then I'll be able to put it on the Strider and test it out. It's going to be so much easier for me to show you this in natural lighting when I can set the camera up. But basically to push this, like to move this bar down, there's a button on this side and a button on this side so yeah just these buttons to on each side at the same time to put it down you can go like all the way down got your hood which is really nice a door and then you've got your extendable hood as well got this as well if you wanted that out. And once you unzip that, you got your extendable like canopy that just magnets onto this side of the capsule, which is so nice. To get it off of the base, this button down here, and then you just lift it off. It's super light. I have lifted it off and it's really light. It's super nice. Also got your isofix as well on here. Once we wash it, we will test Hudson out in it, which will be exciting. And Hazel, we can test Hazel out as well in it. They will be different sizes as well. It's been a day since I last filmed. I am going to now clean it. So I'm going to basically strip the whole capsule down and put it in the wash and I will let you know how I do that. Decide to do that later but now I just need to figure out how to strip it all down. So walk you through it once I figure it out myself. Okay so I've pulled everything off of the capsule. I was going to film it. There's no videos on YouTube yet of how to do this for the Nuna clip, but I pulled it all apart. When I put it back together, I'll kind of show you how I do it because it's um, pretty much the same thing to put it back together as it is to take it off so you can just do the reverse. Bless you. But we've got this piece here, so it comes out in one, two. This is the headrest bit. So it's second piece and then you've got your hood which is three pieces and then you've got these and shoulder strap covers so it comes out in like yeah four or five pieces um with the hood if you i've undone the zipper and got the canopy the dream like canopy bit out so that gets washed as well and the last thing i need to do is just take out the rod but i have to remember which way it goes so i just need to store that in the right place okay so you put it in your washing machine um, I put a little bit of fabric softener in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Do, it's probably recommended to do it on delicate mode. So if you can do it on delicate mode, do it on delicate mode. Put it on normal mode because ours doesn't spin properly on delicate. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. But I think it is recommended by you to do it on delicate. Do you want to press that button? 
Press it hard. Good job. Okay, so I've got it all out on a drying rack. Um, and the reason I have brought it inside is because it's currently pouring outside and storming. So I figured this would be better inside. It's probably going to take a couple days to dry though just because of the weather. But hopefully tomorrow it should all be dry and I'll be able to put it back together and play with it properly in natural lighting with you guys. So that's kind of the plan. Nuna, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on anything that I am doing in this video. This is just things that I have either read or like heard. So that is what we're doing. But it says to lay them flat on a flat surface whilst drying, which is why they're on a drying rack. And also to put it in a shade, shaded spot um, to dry, not in the sun, because obviously you don't want it to um, sun fade. So it's been a few days since I put this out to dry. It took a couple days for it to dry anyways, but then I got sick. I uh, didn't really have the energy to put it back together and film for you so it's been sitting out for a while but it's now completely dry. Before I put it back together I want to clean the base and the shell of the capsule. Um, I'm just going to be wiping it down with baby wipes because it's not super bad anyways. I might give it a little vacuum inside of the shell here. Other than that I'm just going to wipe it down with baby wipes. If yours is dirtier or you don't have baby wipes or don't want to use baby wipes, use a cloth with just like water. Warm water, cold water, whatever suits you, or just like mild soapy water, you know. Um, I'm going to be storing the base under my bed like I store all of my others, but I am going to put it in a garbage bag so it doesn't continue to collect dust or dog hair or anything like that. I've wiped it all down. I've got a garbage bag ready to put the base in. I do want to show you a few features about the base first before I put it away. Did however roll this up as best as I could and stored this away. Wiped the shell of, of the capsule down as well. This is the first part that you put on. I'm kind of doing it, figuring it out as I go but I believe this is the first part that you put on. So this is like your headrest fabric. Basically um, needs to go under this flap bit here which you can't really see but it can come up and you just kind of slip it on over that then you put the rest over this bit you could probably do this bit first and then the flap but I didn't think the next part about it like attaching this bit is there at the bottom so hard to show you because it's black but at the bottom of this bit there's an elastic right here that goes behind so it will come like up behind here and it will connect onto this little hook right here you can, right there there's one on either side so you'll just bring those elastics up and hook it onto those little hooks just goes up and stretches onto that so the next bit is like your main like bit that you put on starting from the top and working my way down but we'll just see how that works if it's hard to do it that way then I will let you know and maybe try doing it bottom to top but I'm starting at the top I've done this side so far at the top so basically you have little pieces like this that just kind of slip underneath your little, like capsule like and it just kind of sits in there um obviously these pieces you need to tuck behind uh that's where your hood will go in um and then these pieces make sure that goes through the holes all lined up same with this one there's another plastic piece here which just goes up in there as well to like hold that bit in you do the same to the other side obviously and then you just have like your bottom bit that you need to kind of work in and figure out so that's what I am currently doing I will also say though the main cover of like the main fabric cover of your capsule should have instructions on how to clean your car seat yeah have a read at like your care instructions for washing it just to yeah just to make sure that you're doing it right and you're not going to ruin the fabric or the um use of the car seat just a quick tip make sure you're threading your like buckle piece through before you pull this all the way over otherwise you're just gonna have to take it back off if you forget another thing is is make sure you're threading this through before you um start to tuck this bit of fabric underneath this this is probably going to be the trickiest part but i'll let you know how i find it basically just just gotta like tuck this bit all the way under so it's like tight and snug under in there. Once you do the big piece of fabric, last things you have to do is literally just the hood, the newborn insert, and 
the shoulder straps which are very easy things to do okay literally the easiest thing ever basically you just thread this through your little hole this is obviously like unbuckled so you just thread your strap through and then you do the button up so i wish i can show you with this side so you just thread your strap through like that and then just do your button up but now it's just the shoulder straps so you just pop them on and then do the buttons up okay so here they are put on and they are pretty easy to slide up and down too so if you want to like move the position of them once your baby's in there you can do that really easily which this would be like your newborn positions mind how messy my bed is the dream canopy back inside um just so it's easier to show you where to thread for your rod bit i left it how i remember taking it out so i remember how to put it back in yeah so just thread it back through and like the little holes are just here above your the pull out bit of the hood just in like the little holes there the same way as you taking it took it off basically you've got your little bits here where you stick it back in on both sides i didn't say this previously because i didn't show you how to take it apart take the hood off you press this little button here and it will pop out and there's one on each side and then there's velcro on the back as well as on the hood to attach it so um that's how you remove it and it's basically how you put it back on as well before you do your velcro it does also have little buttons here which just hook on to that little bit of like your clamp bit i guess of the hood so you just want to do that and then that's another thing that you have to do when you take it off obviously make sure when you chuck it in the wash that you undo this part and pull out the dream canopy when you wash it just so it washes the canopy as well so i'm going to show you a few features about the base there's not much that i can really show you i mean it's just the base of the capsule all well, this capsule is the first capsule that i have ever owned with the isofix which is pretty cool to have None of my other capsules have isofix. Um, I won't be able to use the isofix, mainly because I don't use the bases for my capsules anyways, but we also don't have the isofix in our car, so we can't use the isofix feature. Isofix was only brought into Australia in 2014, so your car models from like around 2014 and below um, usually don't have isofix. In Australia and then even some car brands and models from 2014 onwards some still don't have isofix most cars now in Australia do have the isofix feature but yeah basically there's a little button underneath so I don't know if you can see it but it's just this little bit here so it says press to release isofix compatible connectors so you just kind of press that in and then you can release those down and then they just um, go into your seat as if you're um, installing it. To put the capsule on you literally just set it on top until it clicks into the base. So if we were to just set the capsule on top. like that so it just clicks in and then to release the capsule from the base it's just this button here you just press that in and that releases the capsule and you can just pull it right out so we'll start up the top i guess and work our way down so uh, one of the features that i love on this capsule is the brown leather handle bit up the top here that is definitely something that i was looking for when i was looking for a nuna capsule was the um, brown leather on the top um you can get black leather but i just wasn't a fan of it personally now to put this bar down you you have a little button on the side like this and you just like kind of push that in and then there's another one on the other side so you push them in at the same time and then you push back however far you want so let me see how many so you've got the one here and then you've got the one where it goes all of the way down so you only have two points of where you 
you can do that. So the next is the hood, which is actually really nice as well. It's got Nuna on the side here. As you, so you've got your pull-out hood bit here, which you can also tuck away if you don't want that bit out. But it's also nice, you know, extra sunshade. But then you've also got your dream drape or your dream canopy, which you just unzip and you can pull it out. And then it just magnetizes onto this side just down here, which is really nice as well. And that obviously gives it more sun protection as well. So that's another fun feature that I like about this and love. Yeah, so this bit here is pretty um, solid, but on the side you've kind of got the meshy part, so they still get the airflow through there. Another cute little accent bit is the brown leather um, zipper. It just adds colour to it, and I just love that for some reason. Any brown accent, love it, especially with the black. So you can set your hood back that far or you can put it all the way back but it's got good coverage either way and again you can push that in as well if you didn't want that it's just less coverage from like the sun or anything like that okay so going into the actual inside of the capsule you have your headrest here which is actually like adjustable so there's just a little button on the inside that you push in and you can pull it up and you can push it all the way down all the way down is probably the mode that or like the setting that i will have it on that's like a newborn mode and then as they gradually get bigger you raise it up and up and the little straps will adjust with it. Um, you've obviously got your shoulder pads as well, which is really nice along with the newborn insert. I wanted to make sure that I got the insert because obviously Hudson and Hazel are quite small, so I knew that I was going to need it. And for most of my rebonds, I'll probably need the insert, so that's always nice to have. It is a three-point harness, obviously. It's a standard Australian car seat. Adjust these if you need to. It's just that little button down there. Yeah. just this little button down here push that in then that adjusts your straps here to loosen them off and then to tighten them it's just your strap here i have already tried hazel and hudson in here i did film a clip of it the first time i tried them in here but i'm not sure if i love it or not i'm gonna go re-watch it back and if i'm not a fan of that footage i am going to show you them in it right now i will say they do fit really well in here and i personally think hudson fits a lot better in this car seat than he does in the steel craft i just feel like he yeah he sits a lot better he doesn't look as like squished like his neck doesn't doesn't look as to his chest if that makes sense um i'm pretty sure that's mainly all of the features of the capsule um these two little buttons here are to remove it from the pram which i do not have yet but eventually i will show you that once i get the pram so i've got hazel in here um i her when i tried her in here the first time apparently i wasn't recording so here she is. She looks super cute and fits really well. It's so nice and it's so easy to put her in. I mean, it's easy to put Hudson in too, but it was like always so cramped in that capsule. But I'm just obsessed with it. Like, I'm so obsessed. Like, it looks so good. And they both fit in there really well. She is a little bit bigger than Hudson. So Hudson's 18 inches and I want to say she's possibly 19 to 20 inches. I don't think she'd be any longer than that. But she's in newborn size, if that helps. Sometimes she can fit in like small zero to three month clothing. Okay, so here is Hudson in the capsule. He looks so cute. And he actually fits really well in here. Um, like he doesn't look too tiny actually. I thought he was going to like look super tiny in here, but he actually doesn't. He fits super well and I'm obsessed. So I'm so glad that I got this capsule. Oh my gosh, look at him. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like the new capsule. Stay tuned for when we get um, the new pram, which will be exciting. I'll do a similar video and hopefully it won't be as long now that I kind of have an idea of how I want to film things. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.